Welcome to the Kenny Wallace Show, brought to you by Jags, the leader in high performance aftermarket car parts. Remember to go to jags.com. Well, today's show is not really a show. All of you follow along with us. We're getting ready with the new Jags dirt car built by my dear friend Donnie Jumper, Impressive Race Cars. We're here in Doe Run, Missouri at Doe Run Raceway. And we're doing a little shakedown because we're going to the dome, inside the dome, where the Rams used to play football. We do this every year. And when we go on the track at the dome, we're qualifying. There's no practice at the dome. So we're gonna shake the car down right here and just see what's up, make sure everything's good. So follow along today. We're in good shape. It unloaded real good. Uh, got a little bit of fluid. Come here. Got a little something right here. We might have the the brakes uh, might have a small leak, but the car feels really good. It's over on the right front. Does it feel? God damn, it's on the right. It's front. on. It's on the right front. It turns real good. Hops a little bit coming down that front straight. We're gonna try to tame that down. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna put a little padding over here. Because the dome's extremely rough. The dome's very rough. So you don't want your head bouncing around. All right. I'll go to work. There'll be a little bit more. everybody this is the debrief after the debrief so when you see me in my environment with my race team it's it's a little different focus so uh, I want to thank you all for following along and we decided to add on a little bit to this Kenny Wallace show special because we are in Doe Run Missouri Doe Run Raceway and you're thinking about those NASCAR drivers oh they're highfalutin they make all this money However, did you know, uh, yes, we are south of St. Louis, probably a little bit, maybe an hour, 10 minutes, but this is where Kyle Busch and his son Brexton races. So they do run B mods here every Friday night, but the beauty about Doe Run in Doe Run, Missouri, uh, this racetrack was shut down. It, uh, the original owner was a great man and the nickname was a small tire track, right? They would run, you know, uh, TQs, quarter midgets, you know, th things of that nature, small stuff. Well, so Tommy Harris, his family, it, it was it was on the auction block for years, but they have just done the most incredible job here. Uh, Brody, as you can, let's show them all the new grandstands for the the pits. Look look down here, all the crew. I mean, this is this is really high end, really nice stuff. Look at the the work he did over there to bring the grandstands up and. Let's do a 360, Brody, show everybody the pits here. Anybody coming from California, Tennessee? This is, these are beautiful facilities. You look at the, uh, the pit shack, the concession stands. So anyway, put this Friday night track on your list. This is a shout out, like I said, you know, when NASCAR comes to St. Louis for our gateway race over there at Worldwide Technology Raceway. All the cup guys, they slide on down here a little quiet. Nobody knows they're here, but it was really good. And, and the locals learned that Brexton Bush is the real deal. Uh, really gets it done here. So anyway, just a shout out to Tommy Harris, his group. And we just wanted to do a, a debrief after the debrief and tell you a little bit more about this racetrack just because 
there are these hidden gems all over America. And if you don't know much about them, if nobody shines the light on them, then you'll never know where they're at. Uh, so once again, you know, if you take St. Louis, Missouri, if you're at the arch, you just get on Interstate 55, uh, run about, say, 40 minutes south on Interstate 55, then get on 6167, and you, you head south like you're going to Batesville, Arkansas. You know where Mark Martin's from and, all, and Billy Moyer. And you'll find this track right here, down here, uh, right out of sight of Farmington, Missouri. So, uh, all right, everybody. Well, I guess that's it. And uh, we'll leave it like this. There goes Donnie and Bobby Rigo and the boys. Say goodbye to your fans. Thanks, guys. Terminator trying to skin the cat a little differently nowadays. It's hard for me to do everything. So I got Brody behind the camera. He's moved here from Charlotte, North Carolina with my daughter, Brittany. And I really want to thank Donnie Jumper and Impressive for fielding the car for the dome. Of course, the new paint job, Jags, we've revealed it, all my sponsors. And uh, yeah, I think we're looking good. All right, well, the next stop will be the dome. And I believe that's what, December uh, 14th, 15th, 16th. All right, until then, from Doe Run Raceway in Doe Run, Missouri.